Hello everyone. My name is Norikazu Mizuchi. In our laboratory, we investigate diamond and related materials. In this video, I'd like to introduce our research. Diamond is a well-known gemstone. Since recently, we can synthesize diamond artificially. We also investigate the synthesis of high-quality diamond with a CVD diamond growth chamber. So unfortunately, the scarcity value as a gemstone will disappear. However, it is great for us scientists as we are intrigued by its outstanding physical properties. Mainly, we are fascinated by is the energy center in diamond, which consists of a nitrogen and a neighboring vacancy. It has many excellent properties. For example, the energy center has a quantum spin, and we can detect and coherently manipulate these single spins even at room temperature. In these atom-sized systems, quantum properties become apparent, and new functions not found in the classical world are expected to emerge. By utilizing its excellent properties, many applications in broad fields are anticipated. An example is its application in quantum cryptography, which realizes unbreakable communications. Next, there are highly sensitive sensors which visualize what was previously invisible. For example, it has the potential to detect the magnetic field from the brain, which enables us to explore the unknowns of our neural network. High-sensitive and high-resolution nuclear magnetic resonance is also an option, which helps us to clarify how proteins work inside living cells. For a more direct approach, we can make nanoscale diamonds and inject them into cells as biosensors to monitor the activities of living cells. Finally, the energy center can find its use in quantum computers and simulators, which can perform certain calculations faster than supercomputers. With the efforts of our laboratory members and collaborators all over the world, we have contributed to these various fields. Hi, my name is David, I'm from the Netherlands, and I'm an assistant professor at Kyoto University. Here is an optical table where we do our experiments. The laser comes from here. Then in this part, we can create a pulse sequence, which goes to here where the sample is. The NV centers emit red light depending on the spin state, which is detected by the photon detectors in these black boxes. We can control the system over here. So here we control our system, and this is a scan of the sample, and each white dot is a single NV center. Now we choose this NV center for our experiment, and in this graph you can see how many red photons we detect. When we turn on the laser, you can see we detect many photons from the NV center. If we also turn on a microwave, then we can change the spin state of the NV center, which is shown by this change in the number of photons that we detect. I think it's really quite amazing that we can just play around with quantum physics like this. Hi, hello, I'm uh, Frederick from uh, I'm a doctoral student from Hong Kong, currently working on the development of ultra-small diamond sensors uh, for biological applications in mesology laboratory. Here, uh, we combine the quantum physics with biochemistry and with a strong focus on the material science. This interdisciplinary science not only promotes collaborations inside and outside Japan, such as uh, the National Institute of Quantum Science and Technology, uh, ETH in Zurich, in Switzerland, uh, but also creates a very challenging yet fun experience for me to do scientific research. So here we have a custom microscopy that we use to observe the quantum states uh, through the fluorescence of diamonds. And, and this quantum states re uh, responds to the biological life science phenomena such as heat or reactive oxygen species generated in mitochondria, uh, the powerhouse of the cells. To target these very, very small diamonds into mitochondria, uh, we also perform surface modifications to at attach specific antibodies and antigens, uh, thereby working with chemistry is also part of my work in mesology laboratory. Hello, I'm Naoya Morioka, assistant professor at Kyoto University, working at mesology group. I'm developing a new quantum devices by combining spin optical properties of NAB centers 
and semiconducting properties of diamond. Diamond is actually a semiconductor and it can conduct electric current. To combine diamond's electrical functions with the rich quantum properties of the NEV centers, various experiments are being conducted here in our laboratory. For example, we fabricate devices by ourselves on diamond and related other materials, and we measure the spin and electrical properties of the fabricated devices with these electrical characterization systems equipped with magnets. By using these facilities, we are trying to achieve the goal together with students and many researchers. In our group seminar, we discuss our progress in English. Discussion is important to share our findings and problems and to get feedback and advice from everybody. Our research topics span broad fields of science, including quantum physics, material science, and biology. I think this laboratory is suitable for those enthusiastic about such broad fields and who want to push new frontiers eagerly. We are looking forward to seeing you at our laboratory. Let's do the research together!